Good morning. My name is Cheryl Moore. I'm a medical care administrator here at the Erie County Department of Health. In my day-to-day -day activities, I'm the director of the Erie County Opiate Epidemic Task Force. What we're here to talk about today is the drug naloxone, generic name, or Narcan, brand name. It is a drug that saves a life. It gets somebody breathing if they have stopped breathing due to ingesting too many opioids. When we speak about opioids, they are things like heroin, which we all know is a street drug, but today we're talking about fentanyl. Fentanyl is a very, very strong opioid, probably the strongest one out there. It's being produced in clandestine labs, we know this. It's not the legal type that people get through the prescription process. What we see out there today is a white powder, maybe 100 times stronger than the heroin on the street. It has adulterated all other forms of drugs on the street, including things like methamphetamine and cocaine. This is really scary for us because that is a whole different classification of drugs and a different person. And they may not think that they are ingesting fentanyl and they're overdosing and dying. So we're gonna talk about how do you use this amazing drug and get people breathing once again. So today, Narcan. Narcan comes in a four milligram unit, which is what we use locally. A box looks like this. It is available any drugstore without a prescription. In New York State, this is the law. You can walk into any drugstore. You can ask to purchase Narcan at the pharmacy. Whatever your own health insurance copay is, is all you would pay for that unit. Now, if that is too much money, what you can do at that point is ask for the New York State NCAP program. That will cover up to $40 of your copay. So that is an easy way to access Narcan. You can also do it through us at the county, through the Text for Narcan program. You can pick up the phone and call us. All of these numbers are provided for you. So how do we recognize an overdose? Well, when we come on a scene and there is someone there and there's usually a lot of activity going on, someone yelling, someone going, help me, help me. And what you may see on a person is they are out, completely out. They're non-responsive. Someone may be giving them a shake. Now they're bobbling around and maybe they're gurgling a little bit, but we don't hear anything that is making sense when they respond. So the next thing we're gonna do when we see that, we're gonna do something called a sternal rub. We're gonna take and make our knuckles into a sharp point and go right here on the sternum bone on this individual, hard back and forth. This is a test of consciousness. We're trying to see if they respond to us in any way. If they do not, we have an overdose potentially and we need to act quickly. The human brain will last approximately four minutes without oxygen. After that, human brain does not recover. The cells die off, so we want to act as quickly as possible. When they're non-responsive, first thing we're going to do, we're going to call 911. I think I have an overdose. I need a car with Narcan. I am at the corner of XYZ. Tell someone exactly what you need and where you are to get the correct response. Now we're going to spring into action. What we need to do now, do a double check, do that sternal rub, no response. Now you need to get that individual laying on their back. Lay them down, extend their neck. Nice, long neck. The reason you're doing this, you're going to give someone a dose of this medication, Narcan, and how you do it, you open up a package, you take the unit itself, you put it in the individual's nose, and you push the button, just like that. That's a full dose of Narcan that you saw there. One piece throwaway unit. So now you gave them a dose in their nostril. Keep that neck up. We're putting it right here in the sinus cavity and we don't want it to drain out. Now you have to wait two whole minutes in between doses. If you're a medical provider and you have a bag valve mask available to you or some type of oxygen through cannula, please get that on that individual. If not, please do not do rescue breathing anymore. This is how COVID is spread. We know this today. Critical piece, get the medication in the individual. Now you've waited two full minutes, nothing happens. They're laying on their back. We're going to open another unit. We're going to peel it open. We're going to take the unit out once again. This time we're gonna place it in the opposite nostril. So now we're gonna get a distribution of Narcan in this sinus cavity. Remember that individual's on their back, laying there. Now you're gonna wait another two whole minutes. Continue to stimulate that person. Do what you need to do to keep that blood flowing. If you're not rescue breathing because you don't have the proper equipment, don't give up on the Narcan. Wait two minutes. If nothing happens after that dose, open another one, other nostril. We're gonna to continue to go back and forth. Best distribution of medication. Now, 
when that individual comes back and they start to breathe. They're laying on their back and you see this. A <laughs> little bit of cough, that's usually what you see. As quickly as you can, you're going to roll them away from you. That is called the recovery position. So you're gonna have them on their left side. You're gonna put their bottom arm under their head. You're gonna extend their neck. Remember, this is a reversal from an opioid use. Part of withdrawal is people get sick. We don't want them to vomit, aspirate, and die after you did all that work. So extend the neck. Get the top arm over, bend their top leg over, and you can just step back. They will stay propped up. Pretty simple way to do this. Now remember, this individual now, they don't feel good. They really don't. They may be having some diarrhea. They're probably vomiting. They hurt all over. Every bad thing that is happening to them, they've been trying to keep away by taking these medications. The disease of opiate use disorder is about management of withdrawal. It's about not being sick. So don't take it personally when you hear some new words. Just let it all roll off you. If they're calling you names, you did a fabulous job. They're breathing and you've met your goal. So anybody can do this. Any questions that you may have are always available for you here at Erie County. I do wanna show you some different forms of Narcan now that we've gone through how to use it. If you come across these on the street and someone is perhaps reversing someone and they don't have enough, you can interchange all of them. So we have a one piece four milligram unit that has a white plunger. This is made by Adapt Pharma. This is a temperature sensitive product. Please do not leave this in your car. It will freeze, it will break, you won't have medication. We have a two milligram unit. This is made by the company Ampistar. Um, this unit here actually was the IV. Pre-filled ampule, you put it into a syringe, you screw it in. If we were to use it IV, we would put it on the port and we would push it. So you will see these all out there. We literally just put an atomizer on it and made nasal Narcan. Works the same, all interchangeable. It's all the same medicine, just how you give it to somebody. Then we have good old school Narcan, big needle, little vial of medication. If you come across someone injecting Narcan into someone on the street, it's going to be here in the upper arm, it's gonna be in the upper thigh, or it's gonna be in the buttocks. Illegal drug use, you will not see in this, so don't be fearful that that's what it is. For illegal drug use, people, individuals use syringes that look like this, much smaller. Someone's injecting and they don't have enough and you have this format. That's great. So now you're gonna give them a dose of this. One other format that is out there today, it's a self-injector unit, much like an EpiPen. Um, they'll be on the market for about another two years and they've stopped manufacturing, but you need to be aware. Talks you through reversing an overdose. It's pretty amazing. This trainer contains no needle or drug. If you are ready to use, pull off red safety guard. To inject, place black end against outer thigh. Then press firmly and hold in place for five seconds. Anyone can use this product. So there's many Any options trainer, out there today, folks. Many, many options out there today, completely interchangeable. They're available to anyone, covered by insurance, by everyone's insurance, by law in New York State. If you don't wanna do that though, simply reach out to us here at the county. We'll make sure that you get Narcan in your hands. It'll come in the mail to you, along with a lot of support information. Thank you for everything you do in the community.